Well guys, there's bad news and good news. Bad news is that I broke the motor shaft. So how did I break the motor shaft? Well, I don't know, it just broke. Good news is that I just got a new one, so I'm replacing it. Which should be fairly easy to do. This is an outer runner motor, so the outer part should come out easily. Okay, and that's it. Now I have to remove the shaft from the outer part. So this motor has two set screws on the side of the shaft and I have to remove them with a 6mm hexagonal screwdriver. Okay, now I've been trying to remove the shaft, but it's still locked in, so I'm using a, an old instrument which was invented exactly for this purpose. You should try to be as careful as possible with this instrument and try not to break the magnets, because if you do, uh, well, that's a problem. Good, that was easy. Okay, now for the new shaft, you should have the shaft, obviously, a bronze ring, and this other set ring of which I don't remember the name, but, you know, this. When positioning the rotor on the stator, the magnets will pull in that direction and you have to be careful not to ruin everything at this point. Okay. Now the bronze ring. And now the other thing, for which I don't have the correct instrument. Perfect! Okay guys, that's it for this video. Hope it's been useful for someone. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Next time probably the motor will be on the long, so see you next time.